Hey, how are you? I am so good. I'm drinking champagne at this amazing place. Like, couldn't be better. Love that. So, are you excited to be here tonight? Yes, I am very excited. It's not often that I get to come out being a mum. Um, yeah, and so my mum is currently babysitting my child, and I'm out drinking champagne, speaking to you lovely people. You know what? Sometimes in life, you need to have fun. So, I'm glad you're here. Oh, me too. <laughs> hospitality industry is now open thank god i mean i'm very and i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but i'm very anti-vaccine passports and um, i'm pro-vaccine but anti-vaccine passports i i feel like the hospitality industry has been vilified for no reason there is not absolutely no data that says the hospitality industry caused a surge or spike or excess death all the research and the figures show that it was in homes and so we've just shut down the whole section of society, ruined lives and ruined the economy with actually I don't think any real data to back it up. Now we can draw our line under that because now it's done, we can't change the past. But moving forward into vaccine passports, I personally, if you have I mean, do you feel like, you know, the government's saying that, you know, it's a choice? Do you feel like it's not a choice because they actually stop you, if you don't get the vaccine, from doing a lot of things? Exactly. There's no choice if, the, if not taking something is inhibiting your basic human right. Now, your basic human right includes being able to, like tonight, come out, mingle with friends, drink and have a good time and not have to... And, and be your own um, uh, conscious police. You know what's safe. You know what's safe. You, you, you decide whether it's safe to put your drink down and leave it to go to the toilet. And I decide whether that's not. Like, we all have to. We're grown adults. And I think we just have to be given. And I know a lot of people are like, oh no, we can't be trusted. I think we can. I think we can be trusted. Because I think that actually, do you know what? Like, most people don't want to get COVID.
recently? Not really, not like, no, I was going to say no fun ones, but I, that's probably not a good thing to say, like, uh, not really, it's very difficult because I have to get childcare now, which is so new to me, like it's so new, like having someone to be able to make it so you can go out, like that's such a new thing, because obviously I'm a, a single woman and my whole life has pretty much been like, I can go where I want to do what I want, and now I'm like, oh yeah, I, I, like, I can't, <laughs> that's strange, um, but it does make me so appreciative of the time. Lovely evening and it was so lovely to meet you.